Welcome to Tricky's Kitchen, where delicious food is made easy. Today we are preparing tandoori chicken masala. As you can see, the dish is really delicious and very tempting. So let's get started with the ingredients. Note, the ingredients measured using measuring spoons are leveled and not heaped. The method Wash and slash the chicken pieces and add all the marination ingredients which is the chili powder, the tandoori masala, lemon juice, oil, garlic paste, ginger paste, salt and the yogurt. Mix well. Cover with cling film. Refrigerate for one hour or overnight if possible. Preheat the oven to the temperature shown. Arrange the chicken on a baking tray. Place the baking tray in a preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes and flip the pieces over in between for even cooking. Remove from the oven and set aside. Very important, do not discard the liquid that remains in the tray as we will use it later on in the cooking. Heat oil in a wok and add in the cinnamon stick, dried chilies, curry leaves, fennel seeds, cloves and cardamom and fry. Then add in the onions and fry. Add in the ginger paste, garlic paste and bay leaves and continue to fry. Add a bit of salt and mix. Cover and cook on low to medium heat until the onions are soft and light brown. Open and mix in between. Cover and continue to fry. When the onions are softened and brown, open and fry on high heat. Drop in the tandoori masala, turmeric powder, garam masala, dried fenugreek leaves, kashmiri powder, cumin seed powder and coriander and fry. Add in the green coriander, tomato ketchup and tomatoes and fry. Add in the butter and fry. Cover and cook on low heat. Note, this should be cooked and fried really very well. Add in the aromatic salt, lemon juice, the liquid that remained in the baking tray and hot water. Cover and cook on medium heat for a couple of minutes. Note, add the required amount of hot water to adjust the consistency of the curry to your liking. When the oil starts to separate, that means it's been well fried, add in the cooked tandoori chicken pieces. Add in the roasted cumin seed powder and a bit of nutmeg. Cover and simmer on low heat for a couple of minutes or until done. Finally, garnish with green chilies and green coriander. Add salt and lemon juice if required to adjust this to your taste. Serve with rice, chapati or naan or any other accompaniment of your choice. Enjoy! If you liked this simple and easy recipe, be sure to like, share and subscribe to Tricky's Kitchen where delicious food is made easy.